nice save. Quickly up ahead to Pritchard. Pritchard spins on the break. Save that one. Yeah, three guys went to Pritchard. All eyes were on him. All right, 31 points, 11 assists from Peyton Pritchard, including that one right there. Takeda, it's uh, Celtics post game live. Tom Giles, Eddie House. Celtics get the win convincingly here on uh, the second to last game of the regular season. And it was everybody. Everyone getting in, everyone contributing. Everybody and, uh, eats, B. That's it. You said it before the game. You said, like, just take advantage of your opportunity, and a lot of guys did that tonight. Yeah, they did. They went out and they played uh, Celtics brand of basketball. I want to say we had, what, 34 assists? 34 assists on 54 field goals, and then the low number of turnovers. Took care of the basketball. We played the right way. We shared the ball. It all started with Peyton Pritchard. He was spearheading the offense. He was making plays for himself, making plays for others, and, and everybody got into it. Luke Cornett with a double-double. Kata came in. He did what he did. Brissett had uh, – uh, Kata ten. had 16. Brissett yeah. had 8 and uh, 11. Yeah, yeah. Was it 8 and a 10? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah I think he might have had 11 rebounds with a set on here. But, um, you know, he, he got double-figure rebounds. Uh, everybody contributed, you know, took advantage of their opportunity and took advantage of the moment that they had. Yeah, and, uh, and again, it leads to a convincing win here over Charlotte. Uh, meanwhile, Peyton Pritchard back at the Garden standing by with our Abby Chin. Peyton, you put up a career-high 31 points in three quarters tonight. You leave any buckets for Sunday? Uh, I hope so, so I'll be ready to go. But, yeah, we'll be ready. What was your mindset and the mindset of that starting group coming in? I was really just trying to make the right plays, give, uh, take what they give me. Uh, you know, I, I got some of my teammates going early. It allowed me to get to my mid-range a little bit. But just, I don't know, just taking what the defense gives me. The game's easy when you make it easy. Also had 11 assists. But what does it say about that stay ready group? You guys come out here playing without your top guys. You get a 33-point win. Uh, it just shows that, you know, we had a lot of talent. We're deep. We got a lot of uh, talent on the bench, and we're a real deep team. So, How important can these experiences be heading into the postseason? Uh, very important. I mean, it just allows everybody to keep growing, working on their game. So when their opportunity comes, if it comes in the playoffs, they're ready for that. Finally, for you, Peyton, when you play on Sunday, you'll be the only Celtics player to appear in every game this season. What does that mean? To you. Uh, it just shows all the hard work I put in the summer times uh, uh, allows me to, to play every game. Uh, you know, it's a long season, so your body has to prepare for that, and uh, it just shows all the hard work. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Peyton Pritchard again with the uh, game high 31 points. Scal with us now. Scal, of all the numbers, though, I, I, I like that last one the best that Abby brought up. You guys brought up on the broadcast the only Celtic to appear in every single game this season if he plays on Sunday. I mean, the guy, you know why? Because since the time he was in the fourth grade playing against seventh graders, he's played as hard as he possibly can. So he doesn't have to raise his level up. Guys like that have been doing it for so long and don't have to make adjustments when they get to the NBA because he's been working his tail off from day one. Those guys, their bodies are, are, are they, he puts it on the line every night so his body's built up to handle the 82. Last of a dying breed, cut from a different cloth. We for sure. say all them different cliches that you want to say about Peyton Pritchard he's a baller's baller like if you know hoop and you love hoop and you come from the old school and I hate to say that all the time because then you sound like the grumpy old man but we not we're just saying that <laughs> when you out there you if you're able to go you go you play this is what you did your whole life for free now you're getting paid for it to go out there and play at the highest level and if you love to compete you love to be out there and you can see that from Peyton Pritchard he loves to be out there he's always ready and you guys coined them the stay ready group, right? And if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. And that's Peyton Pritchard to the T. No matter what, no situation. I'm, I'm proud of him for the fact that 82 games, we don't see that any longer. We do not see that any longer. I don't care if it's a guy coming off the bench or if it's a starter, superstar. You damn sure don't see if they're a starter or superstar. But for a guy to go in night in and night out to be out there, man, I'm, I'm super happy for him to be able to do that. Like I said, cut from a different cloth than the last of a dying breed. I mean, yeah, Celtics win this game by 33 points, Scal. I mean, we also got an extended look at some other guys, some of the other young players here, Jordan Walsh, uh, J.D. Davison. What did you just think of this you know, roster top to bottom, especially the guys that we don't oftentimes get a chance to see? So we, we have to understand the makeup of the Boston Celtics with the star-driven league, star-heavy uh, starting group. And overall, these guys are going to, like, the Celtics need to put a lot of energy, effort into their development. You don't know what's going to happen 
with a guy like Luke Cornett or a Sam Hauser or if they have to make moves to cut to you know cut salary because of they already have their core and what they make so the, the Celtics put a lot into these guys and you could tell like I think Jordan Walsh his shot looks so much better J.D. Davison looks like a, a, more, a more prolific score Kata looks like a guy that maybe there's a world in which if Cornette goes out and gets paid and goes somewhere else, Cato could be the guy that fills in that role and eventually builds up to what, you know, Cornette wasn't what we see right now, you know, two years ago when he got here, I guess it'd be three seasons ago. So, like, all these things take time, and I think you could tell that they draft the guy, they develop guys, and I really believe that they think in their mind, like, if, if we can – you know, develop these guys. We can use these guys, especially in a regular season where maybe Drew Holiday doesn't play back-to-back sometime in the future. Maybe some of our other guys don't play back-to-backs, and you got to save them and for the long, long haul. Celtics got guys, uh, you know, ready and, and the stay-ready group ready to go.